Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where we're back to ASMR Squirrel in the hotel. My natural environment. Oh boy howdy, I hope you can hear me on this. Um, yes, I have to be a lot quieter than normal because I am currently staying at a hotel for the next, oh by the time this comes out, six or so days for work. And those of you who don't know, I mentioned before but I am an archaeologist and archaeology, especially CRM archaeology, which is what I do, um, requires a lot of traveling and staying in various locations for random amounts of time. Well, not random. It's actually eight days always. Unless your life really sucks. But, but I enjoy it. It's been good. Today was my first day actually in the field. It snowed yesterday in, you know, the last day of April. Spring was like, screw you. And it was like, ah! Oh, yeah? <sighs> She's shaved. Probably for life. If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? Uh, yes. Like, that's been pretty obvious. I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios. Many whispers. Many secrets, too. About the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out. If these soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak oh. your way in. We'll talk after. Okay. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. I don't know if that was standard policy in Athens, but generally when beggars and poor people, I guess, like really poor, like destitute people are shaved, it's for, uh, to control like fleas and lice. Apparently the Egyptian priests were actually really big about that and would uh, purposefully like shave themselves like daily to avoid. They were like really big on hygiene. I saw that in Oregon. House is boarded up. Must be the place. Okay. Oops. Come on. Do I have to like sneak around? Oh nope. Bloody foot. I was like, is that blood? A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't see the corpse. So it looks like they were hiding in that chest? Or this one? This is like a. Look how that chest is tiny. What? And who, who, who's, who's been in here so long they become a skeleton? This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. How can you tell she's a woman? She doesn't even have clothes or anything unless you can look at her pelvis. That's usually how you can tell a man from a woman without DNA testing, but not off not always. It looks like the girl though, because that must be old. Um, so the girl must have cut herself and like left. A note was left behind. A warning from Odarkis. Odarkis? He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? What? Odarkis is the general. Who's that general guy? Diane, I pay you very well to shut your mouth and stay away. Visit my house again and I will send you both to Hades. Okay. Odarkis. Let me see. I don't know where it is. I have it. Writing on the wall. Arcade. Upgrade the spear. Call to arms. Nope, that's... Uh, nope. It's the, like... Oh, no. Oh, it's part of Arcade. Dang it. I know that name. So uh, I get I get everybody mixed up. Why? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh hi. Uh, but you're not ready to talk yet. Okay. Who 
wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. This had to have happened recently so that woman couldn't be like the child grown up, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... <gasps> was his. Uh... Shh. They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. <gasps> the little doll with the K. <gasps> the child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means... Kira loved carving dolls, oh my gosh. Oh, Podarkis is the asshole! Oh! He's the- oh, that's right! Podarkis is the cruel! Oh! My gosh, does Kyra know? Uh, but that blood was fresh, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it, it wouldn't- it, after what, 18 years or whatever? It wouldn't still be there. I could see that the corpse would be like that, but also I can't see a I can't see a house staying up boarded up that long, like, and people not noticing or even not being willing to at least like, after a while, like after a few years, go back in and clean things out. Like that's that's a really long time. By the gods, Podarkis is Kira's potter. Very wise, Mistyos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so yeah, much? Like I was nurse? there, Mistyos. Ah. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. Y why were you there and how did you live? You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Podarkis. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. I mean, why? That seems really dumb. If Podarkis has always been this cruel, why would the mom keep coming back? My, little, my daughter wants to meet her dad. Well, you're all gonna die. Like, <laughs> unless it was some twisted love thing. Like, it doesn't make any actual sense. And Kira, you'd think Kira would have noted, like, would have remembered, kept coming to Podarke's house and being turned away. Like, you'd think she may have put it together, but I don't think it doesn't really matter if he's her father or not. Like, he's dead. Like, he's technically dead. I killed him. Like, even though he's still there, for some reason, Podarkis is still on the island, I think. Uh, like, part of the mission was to kill him. Like, we already killed him. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The rebels should know. Oh no. 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 No, they'd probably turn on her. Look at that doggy. Look at the doggy swim. Go little doggy. I feel like you're broken. I hope you get out of the water. Poor dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it go. Anyway, um, the rebels should not know because they'd probably turn on her for some, Darkies hit that doll somewhere in his for house. some reason. I'm going to find it. Even though, you know, she's obviously dedicated her life to killing him and he's dead. Although I do think... There's the doll. I do think that this M is for murder. Oh, get it, huh? Because M is for mother. I think I, this quest has been around for a while. Um... And I just didn't get it before I actually murdered him. Yeah. Podarkes isn't actually in there anymore. If there's stuff 
that I... Yeah, I see it since I've completed it. If there's quests that needed to be done before the killing of the, you know, local leader, I think it should indicate that on the, the uh, quest log. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, I didn't notice these guys the last time. Holy oh my gosh, they're like lining the street. I took Podarkes out, like how in the world... How is this still going on? I don't get trouble it. If I'm spotted here. Also, I should be able to get into the house really easy because I literally murdered everybody. And there's literally no reason for these guys to still be here. This was such a terrible place to get in and out of. <laughs> of course there's no easy roof entrances. There never is. I, did. I almost ruined everything. Also, why would he still have the doll? He's kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with a letter P for Pater. She couldn't have known that it was also for Pardarkes. Why would he keep it? Like, 100% a man like that would have just tossed it. You know? This is, this quest doesn't really make sense. <sighs> At least upon cursory. Should I have known all along? Cursory the inspection. The rebels deserve the truth as well. Blood is everything to some people. Yeah. They could abandon her if they knew Podarkes was her father. Good thing Podarkes is dead. It doesn't matter. Whoa, what? Why is there a dead wolf in the middle of the street? Oh. It's hard. Ancient Greece is a scary place. I fought people here. Uh, it's like under here somewhere. I love little random pools. Like, I don't know. I don't know how sanitary that would end up being. But I love that they're there. It's nice. Wa random water is always nice. And plus, this is like right on the coast. Nope. Oh, drop. Drop. Oh my gosh, drop. But, I don't know. It would be. It would take an idiot. A legitimate idiot. To look at all the things Kyra's done. And then still hate her because she was the illegitimate offspring of the man she hated. And maybe she hated him so much because she knew. Or maybe she didn't know. But I can't, like, if her mother was so insistent on her meeting him, then I can't imagine she wouldn't say his name, you know? Like, she obviously didn't care about discretion. <gasps> Otherwise, she'd still be alive. Oh, boy. Wait, you're not who I want to talk to. Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss the I do, darling. Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. Uh, I should tell you in private. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. I think she should decide if everybody gets to know. It's not my decision to break big news like that, you know? To everybody. Really. I mean, it could be, but... Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. She didn't know. 
I'll kill you where you stand. It's not. This can't be. It's not easy. It doesn't really. It doesn't change Kira, anything. I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How did you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through Mater's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. Yes. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. I understand. I mean, it's a shock. Like, it doesn't change anything to me, but it, or, and I don't think it changes anything in reality, really, but it does make it almost worse what he did, you know? But, yeah. It, uh, can't be easy realizing you're related to a monster, but blood is not everything. Why are there so many bounty hunters? And we have this one? I don't know if it's got anything to do with what would be over here. Yeah, can't do that yet. I still need to do quests. Okay. Let's go over here. I think I might cheat and look up the one for Zen Zeni Zenidia? Zendaya? Zendaya? The pirate queen? I don't think I've ever completed a fort without being. Well, that's like how? That's impossible. Unless you're on like easy, because all the like bosses like won't be assassinated. I mean, maybe if I was, like, way high level and, like, went back to an old fort and, like, assassinated everybody in their sleep, maybe. I never parry. I should do that. Behave. Don't tell me how to live my life game. I'm talking through the loading screen even though it's long because I can't. I probably don't have time to edit this tonight, really. Uh, and we're gonna have to do a test and see if the hotel Wi-Fi will actually, you know, work and let me upload something in less than 12 hours. I am already almost level 29. Holy cow, that was fast. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. What? R really? I can't be in the Grand Temple of Apollo either? How do you get worshippers into the temple? How do you know I'm not one? I could worship Apollo. I don't know if this is even related at all to what we did before. This might just be like a funny side one. It might have something to do with bears. You look like a huntress or um, something, maybe? <gasps> Whoa! She looks... You're bleeding. Oh. A lot. Oh, yeah. Come to turn me into the priests? Depends what you've done. Oh. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it. Are you gonna die? If you're paying, I'll hunt and kill this beast for you. You're not the first hunter to tell me that. But I still have all my Vrachmi. I've hunted many beasts. What am I hunting this time? <sighs> I'd call it a bear, but I'd be lying. This creature is Artemis' nightmare. She looks really cool. I hope she lives. But, like... Why isn't she getting medical help? Where's the beast now? Got as far away from that thing as I could. You'll find it north of here, near the coast. Just follow the trail of bodies. The bloodier the mess, the closer you are. Why is there a bear like that wandering around on this island? Are you allowed to kill animals, just not people? 
You're not from around here, are you? Came through Arcadia. But Corinthia is my home. Okay. I'll find the beast and kill it. Try not to bleed out before I return. I don't think she tried to stand up, but I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. It spotted... Just killing people? Well then... I feel like the island should take notice and like the people should go out of their way to stop a rampaging beast you know what i mean like if people are dying on the island and that's illegal then freaking do something about it she did say it was to the north the northern part of the sacred land of probably right there that's probably a bear's uh a bear's a uh, cave or whatever, you know, they have like animal layers. I guess I could just fast travel. It's pretty close. And tear power away from the free thinkers. Yeah, I don't know how Socrates is still alive. Also, it still makes me mad that Hippocrates hasn't said anything. He's like, Pericles is, it's like Pericles is dead. And Hippocrates doesn't say anything. And like they never said like I feel like they should have said something like for why Hippocrates is still on the ship just like one thing where she's like she's like you know Cassandra's like uh what are you still doing I thought you wanted to get off at such and such place on in Athens and he's like ah but I feel like you know stuff's happening around you and I should stay and whoa I should uh I should stay and keep track of it, you know? I feel like things are gonna happen around you. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if it'll go this far. Nope. I did upgrade it. I thought maybe I could get it to work, but... I am definitely... Oh, it's just sitting there. I feel kind of bad. Oh my gosh! It hit it right in the leg! It like ducked down at the last second. It didn't quite get far enough. Oh, it's just sitting there, minding its own business. out of charge super superpower power ups <laughs> as long as it doesn't smell me or look up we'll be fine okay let's see She's seen me yet. Tree, I'm gonna die. I don't think she's seen me, but she's going to. You did not belong here. Oh, okay. She was big. I don't think I got any loot here. In investigate the surrounding area. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is getting good. Hang on. 
I don't want to kick you. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna make you my friend. Hold on. <gasps> no! She did an extra swing. Dang. Oh, man. I thought I only did two, but I think she finished the combo out herself. Cassandra did. Oh, oh make me sad. Alright, lots of dead people. Cool. <laughs> Is this bear just like going into towns and pulling people out? Maybe there was a reason. Maybe it was a god's punishment and now I've interfered. That's cool. It's fine. I'm sure I've interfered in a lot of things. Don't mind me. 102 drachmi. Oh, was it just a shipwreck? Bloody handprint. Hasn't been here long. Did she escape by swimming? The a corpse. This one's had its guts ripped out. <gasps> Feast for the birds. <sighs> okay. Oh. It looks like, yeah, look. It looks like a shipwreck happened and the bear was just like dope. Like, maybe everybody was already dead from the shipwreck and just washed ashore. Or maybe several shipwrecks happened shipwreck. here. shipwreck? Might explain how that bear got Or that. Or that. Or that. I didn't even think about that. I just, bears are like everywhere, so. In Greece in the game, so. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bears. you want from me game the investigation area isn't it's not big unless there's supposed to be something on the bear I, I don't see anything You know. Oh, here's some. This record says the bear came from Arcadia. Oh. That woman was uh. smiling at least. But why? Uh. There's nothing left to find uh. here. I should return to the woman. Uh. She la well, she's the one who brought it upon herself. And like left all these people here to die. Either that or the sh the bear was just literally eating people from the shipwreck shipwreck. What's in this cave? Maybe the bear would have already would have been in here if I hadn't interfered or hadn't caught it outside. Oh cool, thanks. I feel like the animal dens don't really have much in them. Which is fine. But I also didn't get anything from the bear, I think, which is a bummer. Let's see. Woman, give me my drag me. I can't, oh, we're in a danger. We're in a danger zone. I'm really glad the audio and everything looks like it's working. I still have trauma from like years ago when I played Andromeda. And I played like 20 episodes or more. Was it, no, like 20 hours of Andromeda at a hotel and it wasn't until I got back home and started editing. Or no, I think it was like the last day I was at the hotel. Or something. And I realized that uh, I didn't have any audio for the game itself, just my commentary. And it was an absolute nightmare. I don't know if any of you have watched it, but I mean, it turned out okay editing wise, but basically what I did is I put the original game like video file up on my desk on my laptop and my commentary and then played through 20 hours or more it was like 30 hours in the end of Andromeda replayed 30 hours of Andromeda and like tried to make 
as best as possible the new video match up with everything I had done in the old video like movement camera movement everything oh my gosh it was like a nightmare but I like the game enough to do it <laughs> so no regrets I just now try to make triple sure that all the all the audio is working especially in hotels because I saw what I had done like, I looked at my setup and I was like, oh, I have the headset plugged into the wrong place. That, oh, like, I could hear it, but it was, it was, like, circumventing the Elgato. So it wasn't actually getting the sound through to the Elgato programming. It was just putting it into my ears. So, that was cool. Really traumatic. Is she dead? She's probably dead. I'm gonna loot her body. Oh no, you're still alive somehow. Alive! Uh, and the monster? The bear's dead, and you owe me payment. But first, <laughs> let's talk about you. Arcadia, right? Yes. The bear was being smuggled from Arcadia. Oh! I found a record of what was on your ship, and your bloody handprints. Talk! All right, all right! We were smuggling the bear for a man named Sargon. Poseidon had other ideas. One of his storms crashed us here, and that evil beast broke free. It went right for the crew. It was trying to survive. That explains the bodies. They were my family! Uh... I mean... You were smuggling an enraged bear. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's... And that, if that many people couldn't even wound the bear? Like, I don't know. I get it, it's hard to lose people, but you guys kind of brought it on yourselves. You know, the Velians would pay a good price for the person who brought this curse to their sacred land. You wouldn't! I would. Pay me, and maybe your secret dies along with that bear. Despicable, Mistyos! My family is dead, yep. and you want more Rahmi? I mean, you- I might be injured, but I can still kill you! Are you really gonna- what? Are, are you serious, woman? <sighs> Are, are you ri for reals right now? Oh, you're gonna have to get it off your body, okay? Like, what the heck? Gods! Someone help! Like... I... Uh, maybe I don't get it? I don't think I got any drag me for that. Come on, let me loot her body. I don't- did she want- she really want sympathy? Like, is that really- was I supposed to be sympathetic? To somebody who literally brought this upon himself? Like... They brought- oh, come on! I ch I'm just trying... To get a wolf friend, and it's not letting me. Like, I don't know. They, I don't know. It's like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, like, like the bear, like, was probably angry. You guys probably weren't nice to it. It's probably hungry. Like, you don't want the bear to kill you. Feed it. <laughs> you know, like, and they probably didn't just to skimp out on expense and get as much as they could from it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, I didn't even get any money. I don't think. Not that I really need any, but I'm a Mistios. I I might do Zinnias first next time. I'll have to look it up because I'm not really in the mood to try to match that up, match up that map to an actual landform. But when I get that done, I'll probably do the Perils Blockade. And I'll be keeping an eye on this area to make sure Kira doesn't want to talk. See? Look, Prodrakis the Cruel is still, like, the technically the leader here. I guess, I guess maybe it's because I haven't done, I haven't done this. Okay. That makes sense. I'll have to look up and see what, how many quests are on here. Once I do this, all those quests go away. 
I'll just see if I've gotten them all done. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening, or watching, and listening, I guess. And, uh, you know, welcome back to the Squirrel Hotel ASMR. And I hopefully don't get my neighbors mad at me while I try to uh, whisper talk the whole time. And not scream when things don't go my way. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.